This week on Mountain Bike Chronicles, we head to Leo Gang, Austria for 26 tricks with Andreo Lakonegi. And we catch up with big mountain legend Robbie Borden in Nelson, BC. The city of Nelson, BC, Canada is a breeding ground for professional mountain bikers. One of the first to emerge was Robbie Borden. Growing up in Nelson is like no dirt jumps, it's all trails. There used to be a lot of like wooden bridges and ladders here. It's kind of died out a bit. Now it's just like big, steep, gnarly trails all over the place. The city of Nelson's right, kind of right in the heart of the Kootenays on Kootenay River. It's a super nice place. It's pretty secluded and hard to get in and out of. And it's just uh, beautiful all year round. In 1999, Nelson was also home to mountain bike filmmaker Derek Westerland and his new film concept, New World Disorder. So NWD was kind of in the works right when I was in high school. Right around grad, Derek pulled me out of school and took me down to Utah to shoot the teaser for the movie. Robbie rode so well that he created a career out of it and shot with the film series through its entire 10 years. He traveled the world as he became one of the biggest names in mountain biking. Traveling really became just like an everyday thing. All the trips we went on every year to Europe and South America got longer and better all the time. And you know, the filming and the shooting was pretty intense. There was a lot of that going on. Over that decade, the sport of free ride mountain biking slowly changed. The contest scene blew up. contests that came up were like all dirt jumping and like street kind of stuff. What was once a sport focused on movie segments and big technical airs was now about contest results and dirt jumps. We're in Leo Gang, Austria for 26 tricks, the seventh stop of the FMB World Tour. Andrea Laconaghi is here, one of mountain biking's most energetic riders. Dude, I want to ride so bad, man. Double flip, whip, flat spin three, flip, whip. Dark side whip, three whip. Easy. It's like the sixth year in a row that I come. Every time you come here, you're just going to ride with your friends and have fun. And that's pretty much why I'm back every year, man. 26 Tricks is the first gold event on the 2011 FMB Tour, bringing the biggest names in freestyle biking together for the first time. Uh, first run, I crashed. I overjumped a big jump. And, uh, second, uh, second one was good. It's so slippery, but it's muddy, you know? Spending most of the year riding his own 60-foot jumps in Spain, Andreu needs to make some changes to his riding style for the Leo Gang course. Well, weather sucks, man, and uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I think that they want to uh, do qualifying tonight. I think that we're just going to have to descend it today, just in case it rains. Back in Nelson, BC, it's 6.30 a.m. as Robbie Borden starts his day. I've been riding my bike since I was 18 years old, and now I'm 29. So it was tough to make the transition from being paid enough to live to having to work a nine to five job to make money. With the recent surge of dirt jump events, he started a construction business to supplement his income. Well, I've always been kind of working construction ever since I was in high school, so whenever I'm not riding my bike or whatever, I always just kind of went back to it. When you're out building trails, it's good to know a little bit of construction stuff. A few years back there when we built the trail with like the spiral, kind of needed to know how to hold that thing up in the trees. It took him the whole summer to build the line leaving him one day to film it. It wasn't really, I, had my, I wasn't on my game and missed the bridge and just tomahawked like 12 feet to the ground. That was it, that was 
That was the first try. I had to go back the next year and make it a little bit different. Did it once and dialed it right in, it was no problem. Building original stunts allows a rider to film something that no one else will do. It's how riders can stand apart from the rest and take their careers to the next level. Another way is to be noticed at a contest. Andrea Laconaghi was discovered at the first 26 tricks in 2006. We heard of Andrea before and we heard, oh, this guy wants to come to 26 tricks. So we invited him and we were really surprised. This was this guy, he was riding the whole time. It was pretty much my first like big contest, you know. I just got a flight with my brother. We came here, we didn't even know like where it was and stuff. I won qualifiers and then I got second on the contest. And then with that money, I paid my trip to uh, the next comp. His strong, stylish riding was spotted by Derek Westerland and the Free Ride Entertainment film crew in Leo Gang. I was just riding up there and I remember um, D coming and asking me and my brother if we wanted to shoot for New World. And uh, we for sure said yes, you know, New World is like the biggest movie you can be on and uh, we're so stoked. Changed my career for sure. All pretty much start that day, I think. The discovery of Andreu signaled a changing of the guard in free ride mountain biking. Dirt jumps and slope style were on the rise. We got like an hour and a half, two hours of practice, and then we're starting qualies. Qualies might end up being finals, because it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I think I'm just going to treat it like it's finals today and see what happens. 2009 26 Tricks winner Sam Pilgrim is one of the first riders to drop in. After winning the season opening Vienna Air King, he's riding with great confidence and takes the lead. With multiple podiums, but never a win at 26 tricks, all eyes are on Andreu as he drops in. The bar has been raised, and Andreu is on top for the first time in his career. But Canada's Brandon Semenuk is up next. After a second place overall finish in 2010 due to a late injury, Semenuk is looking to take the title in 2011. He finishes a great run with a front flip and takes the top spot from Laconaghi to finish the day. Borden has the rest of the day off. He heads to a local trail that he built as a 16-year-old. Started kind of above my parents' house and we just kind of started raking it in. And I had a broken leg at the time and kind of just hobble up there with my half cast. Still perfect to ride. The terrain of Nelson has helped shape Robbie as a big mountain rider. I think big mountain riding is kind of just, nobody's really paying attention to any of that right now. It's just kind of in the dark. I don't think it's dead. I'm 29 years old and I've been doing this for a long time. To have a two year break at a really big contest and the contest that kind of partially made your career like yeah it's a bit it is a bit tough the contest he's talking about is the red bull rampage with it being held next year and other projects on the go we're bound to see borden on the podium again 
the weather had turned for the worse, making it too unsafe to ride the full course. We're taking the results from yesterday. Yeah. Uh, they're going to take a thousand euros out of the overall prize fund, and we're going to have a best trick jam session for like 30 minutes or something. So, yeah, it's cool. It's worked out. It's probably me pretty good now. See. So everyone was just having fun and doing some tricks they've never tried or just, you know, practicing some other tricks. The day was not over as Semenuk dropped in. He landed a corked 720 to take the best trick and with yesterday's top run, the overall title. Next week on Mountain Bike Chronicles, we head to Highland Mountain Bike Park for the Claymore Challenge. And then to Mont Saint Anne, where Aaron Gwynn hopes to keep his win streak alive.